Это не очень корректно. Они были так шут. More than 75 years, the Jewish life was closed, and even not closed, was prohibited for Jewish people. It was really danger uh, to keep Jewish traditions, uh, to to live according to Jewish laws. And uh, today, I think that the, the biggest challenge of the Jewish community here in the former Soviet Union is. Uh, to bring people to Jewish life. Тут же находится бэджик, который надо вставить сюда, носить на себе все время. По нему пускают на все мероприятия, в том числе в столовую. Когда что-то есть хочешь? For most of the Jews that I knew in Moscow, being Jewish meant nothing for them, and it's difficult to get them involved. I think they they afraid they'll be religious when they hear about events like this, and that they'll push them to do some things that they're not used to, get them out of this comfort zone. Здесь наша программа, вы знаете, какие-то... Блэджик надо только ставить, он там... I only knew from my grandparents what they did. For me, it's still a learning process. Русия היום, בין המקומות היחידים בעולם, שממש בודקים מי הוא היהודי. כלומר, זאת שאלה מאוד יהודית, שכל מאה בעצם נפתחת מחדש, ובהמון מקומות בעולם יש לה הרגשה ש... פתרו את העניין הזה והחליטו וגמרנו. בארץ גמרו, בארצות הברית די יש הסכמה. עכשיו, בגלל כל מיני אירועים שקרו כאן במאה השנים האחרונות ויותר, השאלה נפתחה כאן מחדש. כל האנשים האלה שמשתתפים כאן בלימוד שואלים את השאלה, מי אנחנו, מה הקשר בינינו לבין העם היהודי, מי הוא היהודי באמת, ככה אני אמור לארגן יחד את כל התרבויות שבתוכי. ככה. So beautiful here. I know and warm. Yeah, two weeks ago it was like minus ten. Why would you want to live in a country where it's minus ten? Well, there's really everything here, like really everything, truly, completely everything you could ever imagine, could ever think of, wish for, just whatever you want. So what made you come to the mood? It's my first time. I don't really know what to expect. It's interesting. Lots of people, and um, the place is okay. Definitely, it's definitely um, the possibility to find out about a lot of different things. So you really saw this um, as an opportunity to do some networking, talk to people. I'm excited about the sessions that are going to be today. Is there anything that you're worried about? I'm worried about uh, how I'm going to choose between two sessions. <laughs> anything else? No, that's all. There is another thing I'm worried about. The session I'm going to give. <laughs> I'm a little worried about that. How did a first-time person get to give a session? Well, actually, this is how I got here to Limud, because uh, a friend of mine is somebody who organizes it here. He said, Elena, let's do a session. I said, okay, let's do a session. And I said, where? He's like, oh, no problem. We can do it at Limud. And I said, what's Limud? <laughs> everybody for the first time except for um, the people that I know and there are not that many people that I know and today there's just this feeling that start seeing the faces again and uh, recognize them and I think this feeling will uh, intensify with time
We want to meet our friends and yeah. uh, spend our holidays with them. This year's list of lectures uh, is very interesting. I came here because I know that they are going to discuss very important for me questions. Я приехал сюда в основном, ну, в том числе потому что здесь есть симпатичные женщины. У меня дочь знакома с волонтером Лимуда, и меня заинтересовало. На прошлый Лимуд меня привезла подруга. Сейчас я член оргкомитета. Why did you come back to the moon? Because it was great. Yeah. Мы планировали эту конференцию на 400 человек. В итоге здесь практически 600. В один день предлагают людям 50 лет. Это свободное общение свободных людей. Нам надо определиться с сегодняшним днем пока. По еш. Анашим Николя Гелин. Еш по анашим. Шен лимут. За кешер и хит шелаем лекила. Зенутен. Кажи. אווירה מצוינת של הבחירה עצמאית כי אתה יכול לעשות מה שאתה רוצה, אתה יכול לא להיות בכל הרצאה זה תלוי בך I've really always been detached from all these Jewish things. I am Jewish, but um, I left Moscow when I was 16, and back then there weren't really any communities. I think even if there were, I, I, I really can't my can see myself in there. And then when I came to the US, I went to, to the first lecture of the Jewish course studies. It was called Jewish, uh, Jewish Studies 10, which means something really basic because like 100 something is like advanced. Well, everybody spoke Hebrew and the professor knew all the students. He was just speaking with them and about things that I've never heard anything about. And I was like, okay, that's not what I need. And then I came back here and like, there really was no point where um, me and the Jewish community would cross. I don't really specifically have something against hanging out with Jewish people, but it, the idea of, um, of kind of like hanging out based on the principle of uh, religion or nation, that seems quite strange to me still. I was always, always interested in, in kind of my roots, but I always thought it was kind of my personal matter and not something that groups of people do. You know, I never thought of it as let's hang out and then learn about Talmud. <laughs> you know? Меня начали воспитывать как э, обычного советского ребенка. То есть мне не говорили, э, кто я, мне не говорили, кто мои родители, мне не говорили историю семьи. Э, Какими-то урывками, да. Э, когда мне когда мне стало 20, исполнилось 20 лет, я пошла работать в компанию, IT-компанию, где я работаю сейчас. Мой, мой начальник еврей. Когда я начала работать с этим человеком, я, я поняла, что что-то что, что, -то, что -то в нем очень мне близко. И я начала читать книги, я начала пытаться изучать культуру. Я пойду работать. Gathering Jewish people together is important. Why? Why? There are a lot of assimilation nowadays, right? We should meet. So we'll stay together, connect, and, uh, you know, make families. I didn't know much about Judaism, but because of, you know, 20 years of uh, Soviet regime, my parents lost it, and my grandparents also did. And um, now, when it's coming back, and that's what I teach my parents now. So I didn't get it from them. I get it from I got it from participating in such events like Limud. And what do your parents feel about it? My mom is like very accepting and optimistic about that. My dad does not, but they're fine anyways. They say like until you get religious, we're fine. <laughs> Many people had very different opinions and uh, most of the time I didn't agree with them and only in the end I could say that my opinion is very different from there and they were really shocked 
And I just, I just love discussions. I know why. I didn't really know that I'm Jewish. Uh, once upon a time, when I was in the seventh grade, I went to art school in Moscow. Yeah, and before that, I didn't know who are Jews and what is synagogue. And after that, I came here and they tell, hey, uh, are you Jew? I said, oh, what? I didn't know I was Jewish until I was 10 years old. It was. I, I thought I was Christian like everybody else. I was in the, in the choir that sang in churches and my parents thought it was okay because it was just singing. It was for time, spending time doing something and getting me involved. And then when I was turning 10, I got into one of the first Jewish camps. It was 1993. That year changed my life. И мне стало очень интересно. А потом я понял одну вещь, что ведь быть евреем тебя присоединяет к огромной цивилизации и культуре, которая имеет не только длинную историю, но и сегодня очень интересно. What meeting do you think? interesting people talking. The speakers you meet here, you, you'll never meet in the regular life. And yeah. here you, it's, it's a very personal conversation you can have with them. So, and you you know, you meet the ambassador of Israel and you meet Ishak Rabin's daughter here. I mean, normally you wouldn't see such people. Mm -hmm. יש צעירים עם המון מוטיבציה לדעת. אין דבר יותר יהודי מלרצות לדעת. Is it actual dancing or is it just dancing? Where? Actual dancing in the second building. I want to go. Do you want to come? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Did you make that? Yeah. What is it? Um, batik drawing on uh, cloth. These are lotus, lotus flowers. Beautiful. Did you do that just now? Yeah. It's the symbol of Anahata Chakra. Uh, the chakra that symbolizes heart. The star symbolizes uh, two worlds. Uh, the triangle that puts us down, it's a uh, physical world, or physical implementation. And the triangle that puts up is uh, in material world. I don't know history and uh, I don't know why uh, our ancestors uh, chosen this symbol as their symbol. So it's Ahava, Mogen David uh, and Limut. The so, so why did you draw that? Uh, because I'm a Jew, I love Mogen David, I love this, this kind. It's not that they're coming for a free meal, they're not for a free concert. They're here because they want to be here. All the lecturers, everybody, volunteer. It was my first time on this conference and... Yeah, mine too. And I hope to see everyone next year. It was your first time and you volunteered? Yes. yes. How did that happen? Well, she convinced me. <laughs> it was fun. Everyone could be a participant, but not everyone could be a volunteer. So was it really more fun in the end or was it hard? No, no it, was it wasn't hard. Fun. The mood was the, the great model uh, for community building. That was the opportunity for us to engage non-involved people who are from 25 to, to 60. And that's also the giving them the chance to, to take the opportunity to be the leaders, to decide what will, will be important in, in, the, in the conference. Moscow is very hard for me to do it. No one knows why you need to do it. You can do it or do it. There's no need. There's no need to do it. אני מעורבת בהרבה ארגונים שעוסקים בלימוד ואני אף פעם לא ראיתי כל כך מעט מתנדבים שהם מצליחים להפעיל כזה דבר גדול. Most of the volunteers here are younger people. I'm 26, they're younger than me. 
uh, so they are approximately 20. I'm, I, I'm sure they don't remember this communism exactly. They were small kids. And uh, I think this is why they are volunteers. Why you think communism would make them not want to go here? Uh, for example, for example, my mom, who is Jewish, she was grown up in uh, in this Soviet Soviet conditions. I I tried my best to, to get her to the conference. She is not sure uh, about showing her identity. Here, uh, young people are more open. They're showing identity. They want to share. They want they want to be a volunteer. This is about belonging to something great. My coming here to be with you is because I think that this matters and it gives me energy to be here and see what goes on. If I were just sitting in New York and had just written a check, it's very, it's cold in a way. It, it, it doesn't touch the soul. Coming here and seeing everybody and seeing the connection and seeing the energy and feeling uh, what you all have created, that is where the, the joy really is. You're a businessman. And yes. You're, you're able to invest uh, of your time to this kind of activities. Probably about 20% mm -hmm. of my time, uh, which is considerably more than my wife would really like me to be doing. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> בכלל אין ציניות פתאום, אין כלום, נכון? יש זה לעתים, מוריד פה את ה... יש לעתים נושאים או מקומות שהם נטולי ציניות. אולי פרדיונסה. Помогите ли мудрым смотреть долгами? Я хочу чуть пояснить. Да, да. Действительно, у конференции есть долг. В реальности там 500 рублей от всех участников действительно спасут положение, поэтому будем благодарны тем, кто сможет это сделать. Итак, ждем Леонида. Сейчас... אנחנו לא נפגשים בתור יהודים בכלל, אנחנו לא הם ולא אני לא באים לבית הכנסת, לא, לא, לא עושים בר מצווה לילדים. לכן זה כל כך חשוב שיש דברים כמו לימוד, כשאנשים נפגשים בתור יהודים. I'm not sure that it's that important to learn things Jewish, but uh, I'm positive that there is a serious demand among, among uh, Jews, especially young, uh, young Jews, uh, for uh, Jewish learning, and wherever there is a demand, there should be a supply. Yeah, I got here uh, yesterday. Oh. Till when? Till Motsi Shabbat. Going back to, uh, back to America. My grandfather was born in near Moldova, in Bessarabia. Well, about uh, five years ago in Cordoba, Spain, uh, at a World Jewish Congress meeting, Chaim Chesler approached me with the concept of Limud FSU. I said, you know, I'm in, World Jewish Congress is in, but now you need to go and get others. Now it's time to renew, it's time to renew uh, Judaism amongst the, the youth. You know, the, the young people, they're our future, they're the future of Judaism. Unfortunately, not for you and me. I've never been to a synagogue, never. I've been, I've seen one, I've entered one, but not really, um, like, not the place where you pray. And I've already felt strange seeing so many Jewish people in one place, because you really feel that, you actually sense that with your skin. It's strange, because um, usually there are not that many of them. You see one Jewish person here, one there, and then all of a sudden you enter a room and it's full of Jewish people. Um, so that's a little bit, Strange. Don't you feel like that? No, I live in Israel. Oh. So how do you feel at Limud? At Limud? Fine. I'm getting used to feeling Jewish people everywhere. <laughs> it's not so strange anymore. Do you want? Yes. Yes. 
לא חמישה דולרים שזה מאה אלף. הם נותנים ממש סכום, אחד הביא איזה כמעט 200 דולר. וואו. כן. אני באמת מתרגשת, זה מוזר, זה... כאילו העולם משתנה פה. יכול להיות, אני אשמח אם זה ככה. נובל פרייז לוריאטס פריזנט הארד וורק, פרסיסטנס, קומיטמנט and a lot of skills. The young people who move um, on the ground in Mood Russia found the trick of bringing young people in. <laughs> עם היצירה הספרותית של עגנון, אבל יש סקרנות גדולה והרבה מאוד התעניינות ו... ושאלות. You can't say on the street, I'm Jewish, hey, I'm Jewish. Because anti-Semitism, you know, it was uh, very uh, famous and popular in Russia and still it is famous and popular in Russia because we always uh, have to find uh, to blame somebody. And of course, uh, to blame the most clever people, it's the most easiest uh, thing, right? I'm Jewish and how to be Jewish. Now we can discuss this and now we have Limud. Uh, I can't imagine that it could be in Soviet Union probably 30 years ago. It's impossible. So if you're saying that there's anti-Semitism, right, so why bother remembering that you're Jewish? I mean, you can just forget it. We have, we have memory. Uh, my uh, mother, she's Jewish. My father is Jewish. My grandfather is Jewish and my grandmother is Jewish. And uh, we had a very interesting history of our family. Uh, to forget this and to be, you know, separate, to be independent from that, I can't imagine because, I, you know, I, I respect myself. It's impossible. I think it's, it's just in my blood, it's just genetic, it's uh, just the memory of... Um Um, of my people. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I need to be with uh, with my people. That's it. Well, I'm here, for example, I feel like a part of a big Jewish community. And uh, when I just uh, stay in Moscow and talking to my Jewish friends, um, I'm a bit scared because I always see people who hate Jews. 
and um, the thing that they're like mm, like not people I know why and I have a lot of uh, not friends but classmates who I study with um, and they don't like them they and don't I think we, we just uh, have to talk about it a lot and we have to be just good people and speak more about it like that's what is limon do, doing I think если мы интересуемся нашими корнями да, то это Тора. Тора впервые сформировала такие понятия, как человечество и как прогресс. Мы хотим поговорить о цивилизации именно с точки зрения здесь и сейчас. И ходи у тебя проекта, чтобы иметь вот эту энергию, что есть по здесь, мы решим, что это шелаем. Им иргенут эту тохнит, им ивью эту морцим, им лемасе гейсу эту мечтатфим. Кол мечтатфим 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 כמה שזה באמת עולה, ואלה זה למעשה תקדים בהוויה של החיים היהודים ברוסיה, כי בדרך כלל הכל הם קיבלו עד היום מלמעלה למטה. צריך ממסד או לא צריך ממסד? צריך ממסד לדברים אחרים, לגבי חינוך יהודי לדור הצעיר, רק הדור הצעיר יכול להגיע על עצמו. Только в России от миллиона до полутора миллионов людей живет, имеющих еврейские корни. How to reach them? Limud is one of the best way to do this. Limud help to live in this Jewish around that even one, two, three days, but it it's influenced them on their uh, on their personal life. No ar mavit aurim shelo, ve'ano ar shelitmol mavit ot ha'tinokot shelo. Yeah. 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 Uh, to try to know a bit more about uh, our culture, about our history. I feel like we did a good job, people are happy. Um, I asked my volunteers how tough I was. They said not so much. This is great. <laughs> I do want to come back. That was uh, a good experience. I understand um, better about Lemur. I loved it. Why? Well, it was a great experience, a lot of learning. Uh, a lot of flirting? Learning. And what about flirting? <laughs> no. no a lot of learning. <laughs> You're always looking for it. Yeah. People do. At some point in life, they start looking for it, and this gives me some meaning. Наверное, очень много причин, почему я здесь. А главная причина, что в этом жестком мире в котором я работаю живу, очень мало удается делать для людей своей национальности. Тарану это фидбик. Умрим туда. Мы всем родцем для вашего шана оба. Мы им вакшим от ирво, баемца шана. Шелё як зиму. Я как хотим шана. И кром ле 600 людей чили до Русия леенот. Мас хашув, это не хотим шана, что на как юмайн. Хашув, что ямайм аэле, я хзику шкатай. See you next year. Bye-bye.